So now you came to know about IP addresses. Now let's look at Cisco Packet Tracer and try to see how we can assign these IP addresses and how the different IP addresses play a different role for communication to happen over the network. So here what we have is a file called addressing. If you open this, you will find your uh, packet tracer topology, IP addressing.pkt. Let's open this and see what do we have here. So what you can see here, it opens at this network. But if you zoom out, you will see a huge network that has been displayed in this particular file. Now let's look at the network very closely. So what you see here is a set of four routers here. And if you scroll towards your left, you see the old uh, topology that we were using as a camp campus network. But instead of the cloud here, the internet, which we called it, we have a set of entire network. So what is internet? Internet is a basically a connection of lot of networks. Now, just to give an idea what this uh, entire topology is, so it's a hypothetical case where we have the campus in Mumbai, we have another company in Bangalore, one in Hyderabad, and a hotel and a company in Manali. And they all are connected via an internet service provider whose backbone runs at Delhi. Now, let's look at the logical view of the topology. Now, this is what is the network of the campus. Now, as we had seen earlier, on campus, we have the computer center and a hostel. So, if you look inside the hostel, you have this floor area where you have a server room, which has your networking devices, and all of them are connected to a Wi-Fi router. So, this is a Wi-Fi router, which is there in the gallery, to which a laptop or a phone could connect. Similarly, there are wall internet ports to which PCs can connect using a wire. So now let's look at how can IP addresses be assigned here. 